Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 143 and we're going to be going over the sitemap module. The sitemap module makes it easy to basically create an overview page on your Drupal website that lists various links and how the general navigation or flow of your Drupal website works. So it's basically a simple way to provide users a sitemap so they can see how your site's structured, how it's set up. Before we get started, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, make sure to hop over to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter and learn about becoming a Code Karate supporter. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've already installed the sitemap module. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at that and look at some of the various configuration options. You can see you can have a page title, so we can make it sitemap for or whatever we want it. You can also add a message. You can select whether or not you want to show the front page in the sitemap. You can also select which menus you want included in the sitemap. If you have taxonomy vocabularies, you can include those in the sitemap as well. Here are some specific category settings, such as whether or not you want to show the node counts, the depth of the categories or the terms that you want to show, and a couple other things. There's also some RSS settings, so this defaults to RSS.xml, and Drupal actually comes with this out of the box, but here you can change what it's set to. You can s select to whether or not you want to include RSS links. And if you do not want to use the sitemap CSS file, you can select this and then you can just use your own or style it however you want. So once I save that, click on the sitemap page, which just brings me to slash sitemap, as you can see here. So you can put a link in your footer, you can put a link anywhere you want anywhere that you want users to be able to navigate to your sitemap from. So here's my title, the message that I entered in shows up here, shows my front page with the RSS link, my main menu, if I had multiple levels it would show up here, and also the tags on the site along with the node counts, you can turn those on and off, and along with RSS icons for each of those feeds for each term. And that's really all there is to the sitemap module. It's an incredibly simple module, but it can be useful if you want to basically create a footer link with a sitemap so users can see how your site's laid out, maybe navigate it a little bit differently than just using the menu structure. And it basically provides that overview or that high level overview of what your actual site looks like, how it's structured, and makes it easy for them to hopefully find things. So that's really all there is to it. And that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. It's a nice and short and sweet episode. We'll be back again next time. I'll see you later.